What do you got there, Al? Copy. Huh, already. Thing writes itself. Any other thing? Next page. How's the head? Feels like a bear shot in my throat. <laughs> really? Hmm. You watched it? I skinned. You know, the thing I can't get is how stupid they were. I mean, here we are, 2,000 years of secrets blotted out because someone doesn't know what CC means. Carbon copy. Really? I think so. What it used to mean before everything went electronic. Sarah, your husband's old. <sighs> this is good. I, I want to change the pejorative in the second paragraph, move it to passive, and... We shouldn't have a problem. Uh, the discovery <coughs> has been made despite attempts to keep it from the general public and ecclesiastic scholars alike. Pejoratively, yeah, that'll work. David doesn't think we should run the thing. Really? I'm not saying we shouldn't run it. I'm saying that we're not. Come on. Look, I think there's a lot that's gone on here over the last six months that's unfair. Hypocritical, even. And I don't think there's anyone in this room right now that thinks otherwise. And we are where we are. But to run this to get back at corporate? Come on. And Bruce is right. It's Christmas. Oh, come on! Ow. <laughs> come on. It's got nothing to do with this. We ran what we ran and that's it. We're goddamn news. Don't so. give me that. Listen, you write the news. Get it? You write the goddamn news. <laughs> Not the reporters. You, most of the time. So? It's scripted. That's the way it's supposed to be. Cute little asides on cute cards. That's right, Bruce. I've met your mother, and I think she'll be the first to join us in saying Merry Christmas to all our troops. Keep that egg not coming, Mrs. B. What's your point, Bruce? I'm saying I'm old, and I'm dumb. When Sarah goes, I go. I've been doing this a long time, but let's be honest with ourselves. We're a news show. We're not a news show. We're show news. There's, only, there's three major wars out there at the moment, and only one of them is going to get any kind of cover. We got 20 minutes, and they've got 10 covering pageants, so let's not pretend this is anything other than what it is. <coughs> An attempt to go out in a blaze of glory, all guns firing. And this? You don't believe it. What's to believe? No, it's there, all right. It is what it is. But to run a story like this without at least checking more thoroughly, one hour after you get it, one hour before air, let's not pretend it's anything other than what it is. And what is it? A chance to get back at the right. A chance, a chance to show the Christian right they can force you off the network, but they can't keep you quiet. A blaze of glory. Gee, honey, what is it you're accusing me of? A lack of professionalism or religious bigotry? Say what you like. Oh, I will. That's twice in the last hour someone's accused me of being a Jew. Say what you like. It's not really an accusation, though, is it? Say what you like, but this story, it's not going to run. Two minutes from now, Bruce is going to walk in here, and five minutes after that, if he hasn't already, he's going to call Tom over at corporate, or Alan even, and there'll be no story. Not then. So if you guys keep talking about it, you guys keep talking about it, say what you want about it, but that second page better be complete, because that's what we're going to go with. I married you, didn't I? So? You're glam. You know what I never understood about Jews? What? Why is it the only race with a religion named after it? I mean, you can convert to it, can't you? So, what do you say? I'm Jewish, but I'm not Jewish, if you catch my drift. I think it's called Judaism. Yeah, but you never hear a rabbi saying, you know, vengeance is not Judaish. Shut, Shut up, Al. Shut it up. I never said that before. What? The leaving thing. Well. Yeah. Have we dropped it yet? Hang on. Chris? Yeah. How are you coming with the video? Yeah. Okay. Mind coming down here for five minutes? No. Now. If that's okay. I, I'd like uh, senior staff. We're not still on it, are we? Hang on, Bruce. I'd like to get everyone down here before we start into something. Fine. And another thing. Hanukkah. I mean, what is that? It's not even the most important day on the Jewish calendar. Neither is Christmas. Really? Easter. Well, let's run in an Easter then. What's he talking about? Al's becoming anti-Semitic. Well, you did kill Christ. Apparently <laughs> not. Point. Jesus. You know, I wouldn't, if you wouldn't mind <laughs> not taking the Lord's name in vain. 
this conversation? You're kidding me. You do do it a lot. It's offensive. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. You know... Never mind. Say it. What? Don't worry about it. Say it. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather not, okay? She's an atheist. David. I thought you were Jewish. I am Jewish. She just doesn't believe in it. I believe in some of it. You're not practicing? You wear white after Labor Day. How long... What? <laughs> How long have we known each other? Some things you don't ask. You got that right. You're not Judaish, then. You see a mezuzah on the doorposts? You see me wandering around laying to fill in? You hear me muttering the shema between segments? Sometimes. Uh, I believe what I believe, okay? But what? And while we're at it, I don't see any of you kneeling in prayer before the show or whatever it is you're supposed to do. So, so can we please keep this on a professional level, okay, and not keep running off on little crusades? Fine by me. All right. We all know what we're here for. I'd like to go around the room. You know, I've looked at it, we've got what we've got, and it's there. I mean, we run with a lot less for a lot more. Yeah, but Bush could only kill us. God can send us to hell. I want to know why we shouldn't run the peace, and I want to know now. And I swear to God, if one of you makes one comment, joking or otherwise, about my race having anything to do with this at all, I'll fire you. Here and now. Got it? All right. I'll make this simple. You can't run it. Why not? Because it's wrong. It's not. We've got hard copy evidence. We've got interviews. Is it the body of Christ or is it not the body of Christ? I don't know, but I do know that's what the church believes and that's what they've been covering up for the last 2,000 years. I don't mean it's wrong. I mean it's wrong morally. And for the sake of this conversation, I think we better call it the Catholic Church or Rome. Because I know a lot, a lot of evangelicals who are going to deny it. How? By faith. The power of believing in something unseen. I don't care if we run DNA tests on the Turin Shroud and find it an exact match. Mostly everyone in the Christian community is going to say it's not true. So, last year they ran a conference in Iran claiming the Holocaust didn't happen. And over 5,000 people turned up doesn't change history. People can choose to believe what they want to believe. We're not, we're not saying they can't, but this is news. So is the actress. Oh, come on. What? He's saying that what's her name? Spanish? I know what I'm saying. The actress was news. It was, and you chose not to run with that. How is this any different? It is, though. People who believe are better than people who don't. I, I don't even know what that means. People who believe are better than people who don't. You want me to line up the long list of humanitarian atheists what, for you? What did I just say? And about this <laughs> has something to do with it how? People are people, Bruce. They don't need to believe in a deity to do something good. Game theory. Tell that, to, tell that to the people working with AIDS victims. Tell that to the priests who work in some of the poorest areas. Of and you think they're going to stop that because we run this. Exactly when did we start getting syndicated in uh, Calcutta? I think this is getting off the point. Which is? It's fraud. She's right. It's fraud. I'm sorry, I don't see it. How? What are you... How Faith can you not see this? Fact. Simple. The entirety of any religion is not based on facts surrounding its advent. It's about what happened afterwards. Well, what do you do for Mr. Zen? Sarah. The Catholic Church is worth what? Several billion dollars worldwide? And a good amount of that was collected from people because they didn't know that the people they were giving the money to had a good faith basis to believe that the whole thing wasn't a crock of shit. And again, the foundation of belief is not fact. We sued tobacco. We're doing it now, not because cigarettes kill, but because the heads of the companies knew they did and lied about it. Oh, come on. These are facts. They're reported, and we've backed them up. That's news. End of story. Since when did that matter? Come on. No, seriously. Since when did that matter? Since I took over the show, that's when. Really? Whatever happened to it bleeds, it leads. 9-11 happened to it. Exactly. Now it's whatever frightens or makes you forget that runs. I'm with Bruce on this. Yes, they brought you in to sharpen up the news. Yes, you did a good job for a while. But let's not pretend that we don't have an agenda. That you don't have an agenda. And you don't. To what's right? Yeah, 
You run this story, and what's it going to prove? What? It's going to divide the church. It's going to divide the country. It's already dividing this show. Not exactly hard to do. Uh, it's going to pluralize everyone. The right, the left, everyone. <laughs> you run this story, and you're enticing a riot at Christmas. I mean, like people were going to take it well at any other time of year, but at Christmas? But if we don't run it, someone else will. Then let them. Let this fall at their door. Let the New Yorker or someone do a piece on it. We're a major network with principles. Family principles to uphold. Oh, bullshit! You want to be the one who wrote the Killed Christ article? Go ahead. But not on my news It's show. not your news. And there it is, isn't it? You just don't want to be the one who comes out and says it, do you? It's not that you think this is morally wrong. It's that you think it's a bad career move. So Right? What? This thing has bullets are all over it. So what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm worried about my career. And you should be too. But I'm more worried about the effect that this will have on our society. Bullshit. It's all self, self, self. And no, I don't give a damn about the Pulitzer. This is wrong. I'm having nothing to do with it. And you call yourself a journalist. I don't. Actually, I'm not. I'm not a journalist. I've never pretended to be. I'm a presenter. I present the news. Hmm? You think I don't know the difference? But this is me telling you, I'm not presenting this. Chris, I don't know. I mean, this is the biggest story since what? 9-11. And we did such a bang up job reporting that. Which is the point, isn't it? I mean, why didn't we report everything? The Bin Laden's leaving the country? Everything. We knew it was happening, right? We just didn't want to get involved. We didn't want to go against the grain, so we kept our mouths shut. This isn't the same. We didn't report it because we didn't want trouble. How is this that any different from this? I'm sorry, but I say we don't run this with what we have, then we're cowards, all of us. And we deserve every bad rating we've ever got. All right. Let's take a vote on it. Can I just ask why Josie isn't involved here? The weather girl. And why he's, he's even still employed at this office. Josie's not here because she's in here. And I haven't got time. We're voting now. Al? Run it. Chris? Yeah. This is ridiculous. Bruce? No. Of course no. No. David? No. Sorry? Sorry, no. All right. And I say yes. We run it. I think you kept Josie out of this room so that the vote would go your way. And I think you kept him in a job for the very same reason. Josie's in hair, and even if she weren't, I'm producer of this show, and therefore get the majority ruling. Now, I've listened to argument. We're running the piece. Chris, I want you to go make sure we're set up in the control room. Work with Al on any time constraints. Al, get this on the prompter. Bruce, I'm... Bruce, I need you to get down a hair. That'd be great. I'm sorry, Sarah. I think I'm going to have to go over to corporate on this one. I'm sorry? <laughs> well, that's a surprise. The rest of you, we're live in uh, 34 minutes. Do what you do. Well, be your own take on the other one. Do what you think you have to. I'm going to need the phone numbers for either Tom Philander or Alan Smith. Yes, I do realize the time. This is Bruce Baxter with the 9 a.m. news. I'm going to need either a phone number or both if that's possible. Hmm. No, that's fine. I'll get them on my mobile. 